Had there been an efficient fire guard in this street, such ruin might not have happened. Every street must have an organized fire guard so that all the hours of darkness are covered. At least three make up a fire party on duty each night. These three men are on the rotor list for duty, which is drawn up beforehand so that each man knows his times on watch. Two can rest, but the watcher on duty must be dressed. He needn't stay outside unless he hears aircraft, local gunfire or the alert. Organization of fire watchers is good, but training and practice are essential. This daylight practice shows what often happens with untrained people. Everybody runs out at the sound of the whistle and they all rush to the obvious firebomb, which may be a fairly harmless one. In the meantime, other and dangerous bombs are left unattended. On the warning whistle, the party should come out ready, disregard the harmless bombs, and on the watcher's indications, start on the really dangerous ones. And keep to your own sector. The area under a watcher's control should be limited. Learn your area thoroughly, particularly the awkward spots where bombs may fall. Don't rely upon your water taps, but keep plenty of static water available in any receptacle which can be used for refilling buckets. With everything ready, the fire watcher is confident. Now don't forget, on the sound of local gunfire, aircraft or siren, and not till then, the fire watcher must take up his position and he need only rouse the rest of the party when he thinks that fire bombs are likely to start falling very soon. Watch out well and go first for the ones that are most likely to start trouble. <laughs>